Hi, I'm Mark Theobald. I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble my sip and puff kayak. We start by mounting the base plate to the kayak with two cargo straps. They go completely around the hull. They come up through slots on the base plate. They get hooked together and canned in. Once they're secured tightly, they become a, virtually a part of the kayak. It's very solid. I'm simulating my kayak here with some uh, film containers. Okay, next thing that you'll do is you'll put the outrigger boom in. And we'll lock these down in an upright position so that they can hold the pontoons up off the dock or out of the water and off the ground until the kayak is in deep water. Next we'll go ahead and put the pontoons on. Lightly lock these down in kind of a horizontal position until we're ready. Then you'll bring the control unit up and set it in place. You bring your electrical over from each pontoon. And you can either tape it or dress it to the boom, the outrigger. Connect it into the correct receptacle here. If you get them reversed, it'll just be a little confusing on how to steer the kayak, but it won't hurt anything. We'll, uh, once our both of our pontoons are connected, we'll drop the control unit into place, secure it with a bungee cord, and now we can go ahead and take our electrical connection and run it to the battery. The battery can be placed either behind the paddler or anywhere along the length of the kayak. The electrical connection is long enough to reach the entire kayak. And we'll want to make sure that we don't drop the sip and puff control straw into the water. So we can put that up here for now. And uh, that's the completely set up unit right there. So now we can go ahead and put the kayak into the water. And the next thing we'll do is we'll preload the pontoons into the water. We'll loosen these, loosen the boom, drop the pontoon to where it's floating on the water, and then lock it in. And then we'll lock the pontoon in where it's level to the water. And we'll want to make sure that we lock all the cam bolts in very tightly. There's one under here. And we would do the same thing to the left-hand side. And that is now ready to put the rider on if he's not already on and start the unit up. There's a power switch over here and a man overboard switch here which also takes it in and out of a practice mode and we'll talk about that more in another video. So that's it. You can find out more information on my website at disabledadventures.com or through my other website kayakdiving.com.